Our Indiegogo campaign is live right now for our third exclusive variant with Dynamite Entertainment, this Betty Page Curse of the Banshee 1 drawn by Jay Lee. Not only can you pick up the variant, but we have a Gem Mint Dynamite box available as well with all different tiers. You can get a t-shirt, tote bag, bookmark, pins, coasters, coins, and more. And we just announced our first stretch goal. If we hit 7,500, everybody who backs the campaign will also receive a limited edition trading card of the cover as well. So make sure to check out the link in the description after the video and support the campaign. What's going on everybody? Gem Mint here back again with another statue unboxing and review. Another 1-6 scale statue from XM Studios. This is Mera from the Aquaman series. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. You know we got a big giveaway going on for our next subscriber milestone of 150k. So if you hang around to the end of the video, I'll give you more details on that. For now, you saw the art box, you saw the shipper, here's the styrofoam packaging with the straps. Let's see what's inside the box. So first of all, we have the XM Studios envelope. Unfortunately, this line does not come with art prints, but it does have the contents of the box along with the QR code and all the information that you need on the back. We got the box on the floor now. Let's go ahead and remove those straps. Now we're gonna go ahead and take off the lid and we're gonna see what's inside. As you can see, everything is wrapped up in tissue paper. So let's remove all of that. And this box is upside down, so let's go ahead and flip her right side up. All right, now we can see Mera. We can see her trident, the base, all the fish. First, we'll take out this school of fish. It has a nice, great aquatic blue color to it. A nice fishy shine as well. You can see painted on both sides. A cluster of fish together. Then we have uh, one of the eels that's not attached to the base. I love the shiny paint job that they have on it with the light and dark greens. They have the inside of the mouth painted red. It looks fierce, it looks menacing. And this is gonna go on the base and kind of wrap around Mera. Here we can see those blue eyes. We have a couple of pieces of coral here which have great texturing to them. I like that lime green that goes down to the dark green on the base and I just love how it feels, man. You can feel all those little bumps on these pieces of coral. Then we have her hands. Now, right away, I do feel like Mara's skin is a little bit pale, but I guess, you know, underwater, she doesn't get much sun. She has her aquatic powers in her left hand. Her right hand is ready to hold her trident. Let's take a look at the bottom of the base. You can see this is number 25 out of just 300. The bottom of the base has a lot going on, a lot of different colors. You have this broken down column, these gray rocks that have this mossy green to it, all these different types of coral colors. You have the red starfish, the blues, yellows, and pinks. You have another eel that's embedded into the base. You have more crustaceans around the back here, a nice little diorama. Then we have the trident. So this has a gold color that blends into silver at the tips. I thought that was pretty interesting. And for a 1-6 scale piece, this is a pretty good sized trident. Nice little shine to it. Sculpt looks great. You have the base there. And then we have Mera herself. So no neck seam, the head is attached. And I think it looks really well done. I mean, she looks a little pale, but you can see different colors in the skin tone on her chest and on her face. The makeup looks good. I just don't really see an expression, and that's the only thing that I don't really like about this one. The hair looks good, vibrant and orange, it's got a lot of movement to it. Her outfit has those scales with that shiny metallic lime green gold trim on it. That looks awesome. Then the bottom half of her outfit, she has those dark green pants. The boots look great, the bottom where you can see the tread, the little fins there. Before we move on to the assembly, let's give a big shout out to the sponsor of this video, Street Level Hero. SLHLA.com has exclusive variants and they have this Trial of Magneto 1 by Gabriel Del Otto, which is amazing. You guys know I love those painters. Use code GEMMIN to save 10% off of this cover and any item on the store anytime you shop there. Just like their sister site, that's SpidermanBooth.com. They have $30 mystery boxes where you're guaranteed five comics of retail value. One lucky box is gonna have the GP, the giveaway prize of this amazing spot Spider-Man 317, CGC 9.8, signed by the Todd father himself, Todd McFarlane. This round will end on August 4th. Save that same 10% every time you purchase here by using the code GEMMIN at checkout. Let's get her assembled. So we're gonna put the eel on the back of the base first. Then we're gonna swing this around and we'll get Mara keyed in. She has a long peg on her foot to really help make sure that she sits in flush and doesn't move. So a little bit of pressure to get her all the way in there. Let's go ahead and get some of the pieces of the base connected now. So we have two pieces of coral that will go on this pink piece. 
So right here, the first one, and then the second one behind that. Then we're gonna get that school of fish keyed in. That's gonna sit behind the eel on that rock. And let's get her hands in there. So like I said, her left hand is showing her creating the water in her palm. The right hand has the trident that fits in there and boom, she's all done. This piece is just shy of 18 inches tall. It's about 10 inches wide and just shy of seven inches deep. The concept was by Ricardo Federici and sculpted by Paul Tan. Now this piece retails just shy of $500 and I know what you guys are thinking, that's a lot of money for a one six scale piece. And I can agree with that. But here's the thing. If you think about XM Studios quarter scale line, those range eight to $900 without shipping. Uh, so $500 free shipping seems pretty comparable. Plus I've reviewed a ton of other smaller scale pieces. And this one is definitely on another level when it comes to the quality. It's the same level as their quarter scale line, it's just a little bit smaller. So I don't think it's meant to be a budget statue. It's still a high end collectible, but it's more of a space saver than anything else. Anyway, let me know what you think about Mera in the comments down below. I got to get an Aquaman because they companion so well together. I think he's riding on a seahorse. I saw it at New York Comic Con. It looked dope. Uh, but let me know what you think about her in the comments below. Like I said, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. We're doing a giveaway once we hit our next subscriber milestone of 150K. And we're giving away the Deja Thoris premium format statue by Sideshow. I think you can actually... Uh, See her above me right there. All you got to do is be subscribed, leave a like, and comment below once we hit the milestone. I'll go live, pick a random video where I promoted the giveaway, and use a random YouTube comment generator to draw a worldwide winner. Appreciate you guys watching. Don't go anywhere. Check out my other statue unboxing and reviews, and stay minty fresh. Peace.